Hey, we appreciate everybody out there. We appreciate your comments, too. And, and listen, we love you, and, and I want to come off as nice as possible. And, of course, I want to please people, but I can't please everybody. I just can't do it. There's always somebody that wants something, and then somebody else will want something opposite of it. So what I try to do is just do what the Lord gave me utterance. I, I can't see real well, folks. I got the bifocals now. My teeth are all stove out. I'm having all I can do to even, I, I mess up words all the time and I ain't got the best speech in the world. Lord gives me the utterance, so I do the best I can. I apologize if I'm going too fast, but there's other people who read, this is just what the Lord gave me to do. And this is what I am. And this is just what I do. So I just try to please the Lord. And I appreciate that he even lets me do this. But let me read this to you because I've done an awful lot of talking and I don't like to talk about myself. I like to just give you scripture. We're in Revelations 13, verse 11. I'm going to read it to you. I'm sorry if I'm going too fast. I'm not trying to. I'm, I'm trying to really go slow. But bear with me and, 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 and listen along. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. And he exercises all the power of the first beast before him, and he causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword, and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Listen to him. And he causeth all, both great and rich, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. You're going to have something that, that you're not going to buy and sell. You won't go in the store. You won't be allowed in. Here is wisdom. Listen to me now. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, his number, and his number is what? Six hundred and three score and six. And I don't care if people want to twist up the numbers or not. It doesn't matter. It's going to be the number of a man. It's going to be numbers. It's the idea. You ain't going to buy nothing without that. So it doesn't matter whether it's two, 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 five, five, five. It doesn't matter. Pay attention. You will have to have this to buy and sell. Pay attention now. That's what the, that's the thing. Everybody's so picky on what, 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 when I'm near something, if you, if you tell me I can't go in the store cause I got to do this, that's the mark of the beast to me. It's close enough to it. Time to start training. Pay attention to what you're doing. Get your Bible and don't take chances. If I put five bottles and one of them's got poison, you going to pick one or are you going to say, I ain't playing that game. Don't play games of the world. Listen to the Lord. Read your Bible. God bless. We love you.